Yeah, welcome for the adventurers. So the loading screen told me that, well, Simon and Katherine now finally arrived in Tita. But what was interesting that we are, yeah, we, we are going to look for a vehicle named Dunbat, which is kind of made to uh, go under extreme pressures because they want to retrieve the Ark. And it seems the Ark is really uh, has fallen down somewhere deep down in the ocean. And that's why we need to find it. So, but we also realized that, um, well, I came from there. But actually there's nothing I can do about to proceed here or what. This gate is just locked. Okay, here's something for us. And access denied. Aha. Uh -huh. So we're gonna find another way. And what also Katherine is always talking about the warden unit. Now I know what wow is. <laughs> the warden unit. This is like some cancer. Or like and it looks really like black blood. And I can also see that this year is uh I guess the thing we need to break, because there's no other way here too, yeah. We just grabbed this fire extinguisher. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. If there's someone, then we are... Okay, just using to jump. Sometimes I need to interact if I want to climb something. Do I need this here? Oh, well, it's kind of dark. Yeah, this game is sometimes very dark. Yeah, the thing is, when I went through the footage, I saw something interesting when I died in, this, in the second part of this last play, which is also I used for the thumbnail for the second part, that there was a woman and there was kind of black, a black liquid, just like the one we are seeing sometimes here, a black liquid uh, leaking out of her eyes and her mouth. Is this something? No, this is this. Wow. So, the warden unit. Yeah, you can see this is actually... They used wow for something. It's not just uh, the black liquid machine hangar. We're here? We're here! Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath. What's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just... Thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm, sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Okay, other doors for us and I guess we leave this thing there. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Okay. Find someone who knows the security cipher. 
Okay, maybe it's just the area, but I'm noticing that uh, that I have some frame drops, and I also read in the Steam forum that some people they have really serious problems with the game, although the graphics uh, are not really demanding. Yeah, this is kind of strange. Site status: All systems operational. Hull subcontent intact. Apparently, eight ninety nine percent or what? Last diagnosis. January this year. Okay. Oh man, do we have to re black box beacon? Do we have to use this map here? Oh my god. Multiple black black box. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Staff, Theta Main. Man, already uh, really a uh, lot of people. This is the Wolchek Heather. Guests. Okay. Not really sure if we need this information, but okay. Yeah, black blood oozing from her eyes and from her mouth. And what we can see sometimes when we use these strange things to heal ourselves. Then our vision as some black cracks. Almost it seems that he absorbs kind of also the black blood. Yeah, in lack of a better name for it. And... Well... Are we really... Uh, we aren't really human. Huh? I don't think so. But now we can use this door. Okay. I'm just hoping uh, myself that the frame drops uh, they don't keep increasing. So we are fine to look around. Okay. Okay. So these doors are cool. What's this here? Yeah, and uh, yeah, what also we have learned that um, this brain scan Catherine did on some people that uh, when they got uploaded and now some of them... Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just... Okay. okay. Just want to check the alternative. Hmm. Maybe we should take a look at this here first. Or maybe not. <laughs> Let's take the tunnel first then. Just wanna see which areas maybe one we can clear. Okay. Everything is still up and running here. There's blood and What's all. so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm not downstairs, right? Or should I go the other way first? Oh, really? Okay. Is there something here for us? Doesn't seem so. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. So this is where we came from. There's another door. Okay, let's go here. Fuck off. Is there already someone? It definitely is... No, it's just a screen here. <laughs> what just some pictures. 
after unexpected shutdown. Okay. Seems weird just for looking around. Okay, this is just toilets. Eh? Okay. Well, this mirror reflection uh, says more than than words. Oh my god. Okay. So one thing the, the the players on Steam were discussing that they say the story is really good because um, it really uh, makes you wondering how to define existence or life. Well, the official explanation for life, okay, we know there's always something which can die, something uh, bio biological like plants, animals. <laughs> now we took a look, uh, look in the mirror and are we alive? Or we just come out of this, this brain scan? I was thinking about this and um, well I'm not really sure. I know one movie which has also the same topic and yeah, this was really strange in the end, because in the end, the woman, uh, oh fuck off, eh, there's no one here, but okay, keep doing this, this is closed, this is also closed, and this one, this is, seems like an elevator shaft. So we came from there. Okay, just check out this adjacent room. Another mirror. They really want to make sure that we look into the mirrors, right? Just another way here. Well, it, it is not 100% proof, yeah. We can see that we were wearing some strange... Although the head really looks like a machine head. A robot. Okay, I guess it, that's enough. I, just, I was just wondering, was sometimes it seems that he would make uh, other... Another move or so. Nothing. Okay. Okay, we ju we just keep opening these doors. But actually there's nothing for us here. And also nothing here in the shower room. Okay guys, so we have now the two bathrooms. And now the lines Just tell me I'm alone. Something I can climb here? Okay, sometimes he can climb into these. And this goes up. And this goes down. Is there something moving? work anything here but it's cool so then we know this is the only way left for us is this here guy 
emergency life support. Wait. Choinatic seals those red. Choinatic means with the air pressure or so. Uh -huh. What does this mean? Mose tool safety, microwave federation, emitter and battery hot. Don't look into emitter electric hazard. ST77 Mo Mosa. What's actually here? What can we else when we find here? Nothing. again. Just more pictures from the people here. Nedlee, Nadine Masters. Yep, yep, I get it. Doesn't work. Surveillance camera. Doesn't work either. I think every time they are glowing red, they don't work. But can we really rely on this? <laughs> hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Just memories. June 6, last year. Imogen retested the machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW. But more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When it activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. Tested the machine today. Corrupted by the Warden unit. Okay. Just a week later. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurocrafts, the Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan read emerged. The read inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. Another week. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can repli replicate bow scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with, uh, with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. Okay, the following day. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to a low diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the, se uh, the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as basis for intelligence in the machines. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the, the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Sarang killed himself after his skin. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. 
I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strohmeier is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. So Markzahn suggested they do all should kill themselves and then... Uh... Notes. AR capsule. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulences make the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed. Didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. Poor. Without flashlight, I uh, just see nothing on this. Grab the mouse and let it drop. So this wa this is Katarina's room. Was it Katarina? Oh, okay. Nothing. Hairbrush. What's this? A, a small, small doll. Okay. Uh huh. Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Top headed. What's this? I guess there's nothing else for us here. Nope. What was kind of interesting. So the warden unit started with stealing brain scans from other people in in a pilot seat, and then used them to implement them f uh, as a basis for intelligence. John Strohmeyer. Restricted area. Oh man, okay. Mark Sarang, do not enter. Why is this restricted? Is he still here? And if so, uh, he should be dead by now, right? Oh, he has a lot of stuff. Eh? This is some red U. Wow? No. UHS? I can't really uh, un see it. Oh man, what kind of handwriting does he have? This is uh, for me not uh, not readable. And this some mathematics formula. Okay, this is the, the the one thing where we where Simon can get his health back. Yeah, he's looking at this strange kind of like fungi, glowing fungi. Sham lab. Let's see if we can find more about this Max Max Arang. He was really into this uh, Ark project or what? Fatus Two. Kataj. Two uh, two years earlier, March seventh. Max Arang, intelligence analyst, Theta Pathos Two. Mr. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear of your success in making the WOW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Ro Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WOW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omnicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. The Super Supervisory Board. 
But so they went into extreme measures to keep this going on. Okay. I can't really see what is this Haimatsu board approval or uh, whatever. Yeah, come on. Haimatsu. Maybe just keep this in mind. What's this book? The nature of identity. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or define you? All very difficult ideas to approach without having your questions be invalidated by the practical or mystified by the spiritual minded. In this book, Pavlia Martino, professor of philosophy at the Skars University in Prague, guides you through the history of great thinkers and what they have to say about identity. And this also proves that this is not really an easy question to be answered. Yeah? What is life? What is identity? Or is it just merely an existence? Well, existence is defined by the way that even without you, it's it is still there. And this is how something exists. So it's not made up in just in your mind or when you're dreaming. Okay. Okay, this is not just a picture. Oh, here's really a lot of stuff to un to explain the back the story here. And just some more. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Katerina, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, I know there is no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all you all to do the same and join me inside the ark since remarks are wrong. So he hasn't really some argument why is why gets my uh, flashlight just turned off when I What's this? Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we have this... this topic about identity and what makes you, you. And there was an interesting explanation here because uh, it is familiar for me that actually the your own personality is just a constant thinking or how you think of yourself. Yeah, all of your memories and how you how 
your decisions you made and when you feel good and when you don't feel good. And this is kind of kind of true, yeah. This is your personality. From the very beginning where you can remember what you like and what you and it almost starts as a as a very little baby even if you are even if you're still inside your mother, yeah. So, what is this Robin Bass? Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, it was confirmed that the mothers who are pregnant and they listen to music, this this kind of affects you. This is already the beginning of affecting your own personality, yeah. The personality of your mother and especially music. What's this here? Just some drawing of the normal earth Pathos too. We are all dying anyway, I'm all in. I put my faith in Zarang and the continuity. Well, if you don't... Uh, if there's no alternative, of course, you, you start thinking about something like uh, a computer world. And quite interestingly, I just recently restarted to um, read a certain book a second time, which doesn't ha happen so often, yeah. I only read uh, the Game of Thrones and the Wheel of Time books multiple times, but most books not. Because they just cr cr grab the headset. Ah, we can open this. This is... And now? Put this away. Oh, there's blood. picture okay now we can open this but what about the scanner what's this here okay I just opened the scanner and now nothing Yeah, and the book I've started to read again is called... Oh, man, I know if I got the title again. Otherland. I guess uh, it's it's also... A, there will be a new uh, game coming on. An uh, online RPG or MMO, how most people call it. Or MMORPG. Based on this book. And it's... It also has the same topic, yeah. Living in a... VR world. Virtual reality. When the virtual reality just feels and just like the no normal world. Yeah. The arc. Yeah, some concept drawings or what. And they, they dreamed about paradise. Okay, this can't be opened. Yeah, and for sure there are no easy answers to these questions. Yeah, and uh, always keep in mind that answering something uh, something is very much relying on the situation we are currently in, and in the moment you are alive. <laughs> Why should you think about this, Mark Fisher? Oh fuck! Do I, oh man, I have to go there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, what's this here? Ah, this is the black wig with liquid, and we know this is the black blood now. Okay, let me take a quick look here. Man, already these creatures. Just makes me wonder if we have already encountered the most, uh, the most, the deadliest, or just the most annoying creatures, the one we I can even take a look at. And if I just uh, if I do so, it, it attracts them and draws them to me. Oh man! It actually hears nothing. I can heal myself here, okay? But there's no need for that. Hmm. 
Okay, guys, it seems that for now we don't have anything but this here, but this is closed. Maybe I should try to break it? No, it doesn't work. Hmm, then I will just return and check out the other, the other side. Let's go. Okay, we are back at this intersection here. So this is leads us to the entrance hall. We're gonna take a look here. Okay, to make a short break. I guess this doesn't work either, right? Oh no, it works. Oh man, do I really want to do this? I want. And where are we now? Okay, we have some blood here. Yeah, other land from Ted Williams. I can really recommend this. Maybe you know Ted Williams. He's one of the more famous. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. I had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Okay. This thing uh, just hangs here or what? Or is it just as ready to upload the brain scan into this robot? Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Pilot seat, neural interface. Okay. But I can really see that they, they did really good here with the story. Just when I thought, okay, I know now a lot of stuff. How can he surprise me and keep me engaged? Troubleshoot. Unable to connect to mainframe, please res reset router in the sublevel vault or contact or contact maintenance. Sublevel vault. It seems that this is one uh, the sublevel is located by just the other way we tried out earlier and that's where we're gonna head now or what? Seems so, and then we come back to this place. But okay, we're gonna take a seat now. So many fire extinguishers. Okay, this seems pretty much like a server room. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal, I just wanna make sure. And just look at the thing, how it crows into the server room. This is also belongs to the WoW, to the Warden unit. Here? What does she want? Uh, warning. Okay, it seems we have only this display, this PC to work with. Main comp, the Nanami composition, compressed. Nakajima Neurograph, continuous time, 21 milliseconds. Auto Nakajima Chin, subject Nak Nanami, female, December 11, 1997, death, 2021, Japanese. Why can I erase data? Man, com. Berg, the pace files. Compressed Nakajima Neurograph, captured 2015. Autor David Manchi, April 28. 
Paul Berg, male, ah, this was just his colleague, his partner. Dev August 2069. Okay, Canadian. Munchie. David Munchie? How did this... What is this? Legacy scans. Brain scans from... Brain scans from David Munchie. Jared. LOL, our own brain scan. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Oh my god, take a look at the death date. June 1st, 2015. June, what was the... We had the uh, brain scan on May May 2nd, yeah. It was the, at the end of April when, we, when we've read the, the mails from him. And on Saturday, May 2nd, May, June. So one month he died? This is... One month where we can't, uh, didn't know what happened. Okay, how can I take a look at the audio recordings? Post scan. Ah, here we can see May 2nd. Post scan, roadmap, last recording. This is when he died? Okay, that's it. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so. It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Okay, and this this was just after the brain scan we've experienced in the very start of the game. And this is 18 days later. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. And just, we could erase his data too, but why should I do that? The main comp. Okay, Nan, Nan compt. Nan comp. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So... My brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Okay, still... There's nothing for us here to be found. It means... We're gonna uh, check out the sub-level floors, or how they call it, the vault. What's this one? Switch. Ah, oh, this is a light bulb. Is there something additional now we can see? Jax makes me remember, did we do this? 
Ah, yeah, we, we did this, yeah. So this was the kind of troubleshoot connection error. We will have to deal with this and return to here after we've been and restored some kind of thing in the sub-level area. Okay, guys, so let's just keep me track of... This is the way back, right? And I could close this door. Welcome Just to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Turn on the flashlights again. Simon, the last report filed by the staff mentioned struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. I'll keep my eyes open. Oh man, I already get the forewarning for the next uh, machine type or what? The proxy. Uh. This is also related to the sub-level vault. Please reset the router in the sub-level area. Yeah, I can see where this leads to. 